Hello and welcome to today's Open Heavens Reflections. My name is Andrea Onduko, and along with my husband, we pastor Chapel of Grace, a parish of the Redeemed Christian Church of God in Bradford, West Yorkshire. It's my prayer that today, as you listen and watch this program, that you'll be blessed in Jesus' name. Our topic for today is the reliable lie detector. Our Bible passage is from John chapter 16, verse 13 to 14. However, when he, the spirit of truth, has come, he will guide you into all truth, for he will not speak on his own authority, but whatever he hears, he will speak, and he will tell you things to come. He will glorify me, for he will take of what is mine and declare it to you. Memory verses John 16, 13. However, when he, the spirit of truth, has come, he will guide you into all truth, for he will not speak on his own authority. But whatever he hears, he will speak and he will tell you things to come. Today's topic highlights that the Holy Spirit is a reliable lie detector. You know all of these chat shows that are on at the moment and people come in and they want to do a lie detector test to know who's lying and who's telling the truth. Well, here we have that the Holy Spirit is a lie detector. Why? Because our memory verse, John 16, 13, tells us that the Holy Spirit is the spirit of truth and he will guide us into all truth. The verse goes on later to tell us that we can be sure that he is truth because he doesn't speak on his own authority. Rather, he is just communicating what he hears from the Father. Often, when we take advice from friends, their opinions, their desires, their jealousy, their prejudices, these all affect their advice and they might give us the wrong counsel. John 7 verse 18 says that those who speak for themselves want glory only for themselves. But a person who seeks to honor the one who sent him speaks truth, not lies. The Holy Spirit cannot lie and he is the undiluted voice of God and he seeks to honor the one who sent him. Therefore, whatever we hear from the Holy Spirit is truth and therefore will expose lies. Some of us may have believed doctrines that have been lies. Once we develop a strong relationship with the Holy Spirit, we will begin to recognize His voice and as the Bible says, the voice of a stranger we won't hear. This means that we will know and understand the truth of the Word of God. Once you know the truth, you will recognize a lie. It's that simple. When someone is deceiving you, the Holy Spirit will reveal it to you. You can pray that the Holy Spirit will reveal to you when your children, for example, are behaving contrary to what you've told them to do. They will be surprised and ask you, who told you what I was up to? This will caution them from disobeying God in future because they will learn that God is real and that they can't deceive you as a, a servant of God. John 14, 17 tells us that the Holy Spirit leads us into all truth. This means that he will not lead you into lies. If you have yielded yourself to God, he will lead you only where the truth is. You will not find yourself walking into traps set by the, by the enemy's lies. The Holy Spirit will reveal gang ups against you so that you will be not taken unawares. If you are easily deceived or make wrong decisions, then you need to check your closeness to the Holy Spirit. Pray in the Spirit regularly, obey his promptings, and you will become closer to him daily. What does that mean, pray in the Spirit regularly? You need to constantly cultivate your relationship with the Holy Spirit so that you will know his voice and then you will recognize the difference between truth and lies. Our prayer point today, Holy Spirit, as I walk with you from today, guide me into all truth, including areas where I have been lied to in Jesus' name. I pray that today as you pray that prayer, that really you will know the difference between the truth and the lies in your life in Jesus' name. Thank you for watching again today. God bless you and have a very wonderful day.